Hello, Planeswalker. Welcome to One Pack of Magic, where we open One Pack of Magic Arts. And we're debuting a new segment called Weirdly Wednesday, where we look at more weirdly interesting, odd trading cards, trading card games, you know, whatnot. Um, of course, this week we're going to start with Infinity, because it was there. Uh, there might be, uh, well, of course there's going to be others, but i got to find some weird shit first. In any case, let's start with this weird shit. <clears throat> Alright, starting off. Zooming in. There we go. Disenvow. Three black black sorcery. Destroy target creature. That creature's controller loses one life for each unique vowel in that creature's name. The vowels are A-E-I-O-U-N-Y. Why not? Command performance. You know, this is the one time they could have had something that affect that directly affected a commander, but oh well. One of the blue sorcery, choose two. Open an attraction, roll to visit your attractions. You get two tickets. Let me put a sticker on an online permanent you control. I wonder if anyone actually did that. Well, I mean, if you got one copy of something, you got one of something you can put it aside and then sticker the others. Uh, T-A-P-P-E-R. Single white artifact clown robot. One, two. Tap. Tap an untapped creature you control that has a hat. Tap target creature. Soul Swindler. Isn't that an evangelist? <clears throat> anyway. Televangelist. There we go. Four and a black demon employee, five three. As long as you've visited an attraction this term, Soul Swindler has indestructible. When Soul Swindler enters the battlefield, open an attraction. Put the top card of your attraction deck onto the battlefield. And panic. Uh, Rad Rascal. Three and a red demon employee, devil employee. Not to be confused with the demon employee, which is this guy. It's a devil employee. He's smaller and more mischievous. 3-3. Three, three, when Rad Rascal enters the battlefield, open an attraction. Carnival Carnivore. 5 and a black alien crab horror. 4-6 with death touch. When Carnival Carnivore enters the battlefield, you get one ticket. Then you may put a sticker on an online permanent you control. In big and... That's Miss Marvel's ability. Well, it was, but... Single green instant until end of turn. Target non-bushwag creature gets plus one, plus one for each super type, card type, and subtype it has. Ooh, that's a lot. Pin Collection. X, X white artifact. When Pin Collection enters the battlefield, you may put an ability sticker with ticket cost X or less... On it without paying that sticker's ticket cost. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one and has all abilities of ability stickers on pin collection. Equip for two. Proficient Pyro Dancer. Two and a red human former two three. When Proficient Pyro Dancer enters the battlefield, you may put an art sticker on a non land permanent you control. Two and a red. Another target creature with an art sticker on it gets plus two plus zero and gains menace until end of turn. Discourtesy clerk. Basically me at work. Um, three and a black vampire employee. Yeah, that too. Three, two. When discourtesy clerk enters the battlefield, open an attraction. At the beginning of your end step, if you control three or more attractions, you draw a card and you lose one life. Oh, I don't know if she's worth much, but Lorthos, Steward of Myth, one in a red legendary human gamer, one three, I actually think I might have her already, I don't know, it's been a while since I've done uh, Infinity, as Vorthos, Steward of Myths, enter, Steward of Myth, one myth, not all of them, enters the battlefield, choose a named magic character. 
Each spell you cast with the chosen character in its name, flavor text, or art cost white, blue, black, red, green, less to cast. This effect reduces only the amount of color mana you pay. Ooh, that would be really nice if I had a bunch of Rada cards. Oh, well, I do, but... Oh, we got a showcase art of the Swamp. Actually, that... I, like I said, say what you will about the set itself, but I do love these you know, quasi, you know, 50 sci-fi type lands. They are really freaking cool. Foam Weapon Kiosk. Visits on a 4 and a 6. Visit. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on a target creature you control. That creature gains vigilance until end of turn. Merry-Go-Round. Oh, it's a rare one. Uh, visits on a 5 and 6. Visit creatures you control with power 2 or less gain horsemanship until end of turn. They can't be blocked except by creatures with horsemanship. Because it's Merry-Go-Round. Oh, got a Stormcrow. Flying 1-2 bird token. That's kind of cool. And we got Demonic Tourist Laser. That's, that's awesome in its own thing. Um, two tickets, it gains Outlast. Pay one, tap, put a 1-1 one -one counter on this permanent. Outlast only as a sorcery. Three tickets, when this permanent dies, you get seven tickets. Ooh, nice. Two tickets, gets a 1-4. Five tickets gets a 9-6. Ooh, that would be... Throw that on someone with Trample, and that is tasty, tasty. Um, that's... Yeah, why not? Let's, let's do a little rundown. Uh, minus the stickers, because I'm not using those. I don't care. Um, Roll high, don't die. That would be pretty cool. But it's like... Well, only two or less. And there's quite a few in here. So... Yeah, I, could, I would probably do that one. Um, four to six, one on counter on character creature. They gain pl a vigilance. So, uh, yeah, plus one, plus one, and vigilance. The more I think about it, the more I think I do have a. I, I don't know. I may have a copy of her. I don't know. I have to look at my database. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't use her as a commander, but. Like I said, a lot of characters have a lot of mentions on them. So, or Ch Chandra alone could be, you could make her own deck with Chandra. So, yeah, like I said, not a commander, but definitely if I were to have a fun deck to do that with, that would be it. Um, that's pretty good. I mean. Put them in a play, you get an attraction. I uh, you can draw a card, lose life, but if you're playing mono black, you know how to get that life back. Um Maybe put an art sticker on a lonely and permanent you control, and that creature gets plus two, plus zero, and menace. So I do like pin collection. Let's see if we can see any eggs in this one. Um well, there's the m mime. Uh, I think that's... Uh, what was the lion's name? Mm. I don't know. Uh, it, it's screwed up. He died recently. And it was stupid. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. That is the... One of the creatures, it's like cre uh, the, the mythos is the douche canoe captain destroyed their planet, so they all get free free lifetime passes. So I think that's that guy. Um, a Johnny. There we go. I, I got it. That's a Johnny. That has to be a Johnny. Um, yeah. I think that might be uh, the icing manipulator. Anyway, uh, that's oh, that's uh, Centaur of Attention, right there. I think that's just one of the planets. Just regular planet. Anyway, fun little eggs to hide. Uh, I do like this one. 
gets a plus one for each super type, card type, and subtype. So if you have a creature with trample, trample and reach, boom, they get plus two, plus two. Um, I completely forgot what super type was. I think it's like the creature type. Anyway, card type is that, so. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nasty. A 4-6 with Death Touch, even if you didn't do anything else. That's pretty nasty. You know, he's got, you know, 4 power and a pretty mean wall, so he could block just about anything. Don't even have to sacrifice him. Um, eh, it's alright. 3-3 three, three, and you get to put him in traction. Not great, not horrible. Um, this one, this one's pretty good. You visit an attraction, you, a 5-3 indestructible. That's pretty nasty. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, even with, you know, out of, I mean, it, it a, a tap creature with a hat. I mean, you don't even have to play, you know, this thing. I mean, he's got a, like a, he's got a hat. So, boom. Tap him, tap a target creature. So, don't even have to use stickers. Um, well, I mean, ooh. Actually, there we go. Double up. There's the one-pack combo. Play that. Open an attraction. Roll to visit your attractions. And then, boom, he becomes indestructible. So, yeah, that, that works out for that one. Um... Is that every creature? Oh. One life. Ooh. So if someone's like... Say for example... Uh, let's see. Yeah, Vorthus. There we go. One life for each unique vowel. So one... Two... Three... Well, okay, three. They're not the best example. But this one's alright. This will be a cool play, even if you're not doing Unfinity. Did anyone actually play Unfinity? Because it was kind of like, we're releasing this goofy space set. No one cared. But this is the MVP. Because 5-3 Indestructible. I'm not going to, you know, the only other one is um, this guy. 4-6 with Death Touch. So, and since they don't, I, I can't remember if the acorn is the one that, that you can't play it in regular, or if the acorn means you can. I'll have to look into it. Anyway, there's the MVPs. And that is Unfinity for Weirdly Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow. Have a magical day.